Right, welcome to my first Photoshop Elements demonstration. Uh, it is the very first one, so please be gentle with me. Okay, right, today we're going to uh, create a diptych or a triptych in Photoshop Elements 10. Uh, it's relatively straightforward to do. Uh, I'm going to assume that you've got your photographs ready to go. Um, it's best that um, you store these, or save them as high resolution files, so you can create a high resolution file for your diptych or triptych. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do then is I'm going to go in and find my files. And here they are here. I've got one, two images. So I'm going to use the shift key, click on one, use the shift key, click on the other one, and then open. So it opens both images at the same time. And here are the images. It shows you uh, down here in open files. Um, That's the first and that's the second. So the two files are a diptych or will be a diptych. Uh, one is uh, obviously going to be placed underneath the other. Uh, we're more, probably more familiar with seeing them placed next to each other, uh, but it doesn't really matter. You can do it vertically or horizontally. Uh, it just so happens that we're going to do it vertically today. The principle is exactly the same. First thing we need to do is we need to find out what exactly is our image dimensions because we've got to create a new canvas. Uh, a new canvas to place both of these pictures on. I and mean, if we don't know what the physical size of these images is, it's very difficult to do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is going to go to the image menu. I'm going to drag down to uh, uh, an option here called resize. And I'm going to have a look at the image size. Now, it tells me that the document size, if I click here, is 36.03 centimeters, so about 36 centimeters. And the height is just a smidgen under 24 centimeters. And the resolution, 300 pixels per inch. So that's exactly the size of this image. So I need to create a canvas that's gonna accommodate two of those, one on top of the other. And I'd like to include a white border around the whole thing as well, because I think that might look nice for presentation. Uh, also, I need to think about perhaps including a space in between those two images as well. So that's the first things first, uh, the width is 36 centimeters, uh, and the overall height in that case would be 48. Uh, 24 is the height, so we double that, uh, 48 centimeters. So that would be the size of the canvas with no border and no gap in between. I think it might be quite nice to have a two centimeter border all the way around, uh, and if I do that, it's obviously two centimeters on, on either side, so four on the overall width, uh, and four on the overall height as well. Uh, so that would make it 40 centimeters wide and 52 centimeters high. But I'd also like a two centimeter uh, gap in between two in, in, in between both pictures as well. So that would make it 54 centimeters. So there we have our canvas size of 40 by 54. So I'm just going to cancel that now. Uh, we're, we're done with that. We found out the information we needed. And I'm actually going to go to the file menu, I'm going to go to new, and I'm going to create a blank file. First things first, I'm going to name it, uh, and I'm going to call it Cookmere Diptych, because that's what it is. Okay, 40 centimetres wide, and then I'm going to choose 54 centimetres in height. That should give us that 2 centimetre border all the way around and a 2 centimetre gap between them. I'm going to set the resolution at 300 pixels per inch, as that's what resolution my, my files are. It's generally the resolution used for high resolution and, and for print purposes. Color mode is RGB. Uh, it's a color diptych, so that's what we want. And I'm going to choose a white background content. Um, you can choose whatever color you like to, to place your images on. Uh, I tend to think white looks, looks best. It looks nice and clean and neat. Um, but uh, yeah, as I said, you can choose any color you like. When I've done that, I'm just going to click OK, and there's my blank canvas. Um, first thing I need to do is just go to one of the images, and I'm going to just copy this. Really, I'm going to um, select all, copy it, and place it on, on and paste it onto the new canvas. Um, as you can see, my images here are in tabs. If you've got separate windows for these images, you can just drag one and uh, drag it onto the new canvas if you like. Uh, but for this purpose, I'm just going to select all, and then I'm going to copy it, and then I'm going to go to the new canvas, 
and I'm just going to paste it. Now by default that pastes it in the very, very centre of the canvas, uh, which I need to now move it around a bit to position it. Now if I click on it and drag it, it's fine, I can just move it around, but I'm actually going to hold the shift key as well, um, and that just keeps it on the same axis, uh, so that it doesn't move around on the, on the horizontal. Uh, that's quite a useful tip. We go into the other image, going to select all, going to copy, and then we go back to the canvas, and I'm going to paste. And again, same thing, I'm going to click and drag, but I hold the shift key so it keeps it on the same axis. And there we go, that is pretty much it. Uh, just position those there so that looks about right. And to me, that looks pretty good. Now you can see over here in the layers palette, um, and if you can't see your layers palette, you can access it from the window menu, layers. And you can see there's a little tick there, which indicates that mine's already open. And you can see in that that we've got a background here, uh, which is white. And then you've got the two layers here, which are your two photographs. If you wanted to, you could give these, give these names. Um, I could call this uh, lower part. spell it. I mean it's pretty obvious there's only two files in this document but it's possible that you could be creating a montage or a collage and, and have any number of pictures so uh, giving them a title might might be easier. When you've done that um, I suggest that you actually save it now. So I would choose file save as and choose your location to save it. We call it cook me a diptych and I think that's absolutely fine. And I'm going to save it as a PSD file, which is a Photoshop layered file. Uh, as you can see here, it's got include layers, include in the elements organizer as well, which means it's going to add it to your organizer so you can see it with your other files, which is quite useful. I'm going to save that now. So now I've saved the layered file. If I want to, I could always come back to this uh, and change my mind or just move the position very, very slightly because the layers are still there. Um, but what I'm going to do in a minute is I'm going to flatten it, uh, show you how to do that, and then create a JPEG. Uh, and the JPEG is what you would use to have printed. So this little um, dialog box here, if I just click on the top right hand side of the layers palette, it brings up this. And I'm just going to drag down to flatten image. And you can see that those three layers now is just one single image. So this is a single photograph now with, with, with our diptych. I'm actually going to save as again, and this time I'm going to save it as a JPEG. I'm going to keep the quality high, um, and it's come up as 8 as, as default here. I'm actually going to drag that right up to 12 and make it the highest quality possible. With JPEG, it's always trying to compress the file to make it a small file size, and you can adjust that amount of compression so. Obviously, at the very lowest, it's going to be extremely compressed, so the quality is going to be low. Uh, and at the very largest, uh, the quality is going to be high. Uh, for this purpose, we need the best quality possible. So keep it as high as possible. And then just click OK. And then that is your diptych saved. Uh, relatively straightforward. It's really just about um, making a note of your file sizes. Uh, and a little bit of simple mathematics to work out what size canvas you need to place your images on. Uh, create a new canvas, and then copy and paste your images onto that new canvas. You can move them about within the layers, and then when, you, when you're ready, I would save it as a layered file, a PSD file, and then when you're ready, flatten that image and save it as a JPEG. Again, save as, call it something else as well. And that's it. Thanks very much.